welcome to today from me and Moose. Moose, say hi, say hi. Corey was just in here, obviously, but he's gonna go get holiday drinks, yay, from Starbucks. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, I need chapstick. We had planned to try all the holiday drinks from Starbucks like the day before my water broke, so we never got a chance to do it. So we're gonna do it today, and I'm very excited. I already went to the NICU, I went to the CPR class. We went through all like CPR stuff when we had Flynn, but it's good to have a refresher, so we got to do a CPR class this morning, which was really nice. And then we held the babies, and they were really cute. And then I've just been working since I got home. Nothing interesting really, guys. This is like a cream, is this a lipstick or a blush? Lip and cheek cream. Sometimes, do you ever just like find random old makeup and you're like, hmm, this is probably gonna make me break out or like be really bad for me, but I'm just gonna put it on anyway. And that's what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm gonna go find my child because I miss him and haven't got to play with him very much today and drink a bunch of coffee. Let's do it, guys. See, let's do it, Moose. Okay, dramatic. Friendly reminder, the live stream for childhood cancer is December 4th. I hope I don't have any boogers, that'd be a really bad angle. December 4th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Put it on your calendars. Let's raise money for kids with cancer. The link is below, by the way. You can start donating now. Um, okay, let's go downstairs. All right, Koresha has come back with all of the crustaceans. Wait, is crustacean a sea creature? Yeah. Look how cute this my is. Hair. I know, my hair too, trust me. That's so cute. Reindeer pop. I almost want to save this one for Flynn. Ooh, and salted peppermint bark. That's gonna be good. Okay, so what do we have? It's a lot. Girl, we got everything on the menu. What do we have today? I'm gonna to be caffeinated. My babies are gonna be awake all night. The nurses are gonna be like, why are you babies gonna sleep for 24 hours? And look what, they gave me a whole bunch of free cups and I'm thinking it's because I'm gay for the holiday. I know, they love the gays for the holidays. Every time Corey goes to Starbucks, he's like, they gave me extra drinks. They gave me extra <laughs> drinks. They upgrade my sizes. They fully support the LGBTQ plus QI. Or there's a boy there who supports you sliding into his DM. Even with this hair. I like your hair. <laughs> okay. Bless your soul. Hook is on a rope. Person of the week in every Greek opinion poll. He was a no one. Zero. No, we <laughs> no, 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 we're like, what are the words? <laughs> oh my God, this one has sprinkles on it. That's the new one. That's the newest flavor. It's called sugar cookie with almond milk. Let's try her. Wait, it has like four sprinkles on top. I know, she was like chintzy This on is that. what I do to Flynn's like, if he's not eating something, I'll put like this <laughs> many one. sprinkles on it. Like, look at this. I have to show you how there's like. She was not. Can you even Generous see them? There's like four tiny little nodules. We gotta try this one first. Does it taste like a sugar cookie? It tastes a little rubbery. It's like kind of good, but also kind of really awful. Like the initial taste I didn't like, and then the aftertaste I liked. Oh, I don't like the aftertaste. Just wait a couple more seconds. <laughs> when it combines with your spit, it kind of gets like, okay, it's doable. <sighs> I'm getting sausage. <laughs> Do you taste sugar cookie? I got all the sprinkles like lodged in my face. <laughs> Oh. It is coffee with like a cheap creamer. Like if this yes. tastes like- Yes, <gasps> that's what it is. It's it coffee with- It tastes like cream. bad creamer that like yes. you got on discount and Expires you like, you're tomorrow. like, I'm gonna save money today and I'm just gonna make my own coffee at home. Mm. That's what this tastes like. Yeah. Who's she? What's it say? Tilted in moon. Yep. It says toasted white mocha chocolate, oh. something along those lines. Toasted white. All I know is that it's toasted and it's a white mocha. She smells good. I like her. Oh, I taste the graham crackery toastiness. Very light white mocha with like a little. Yeah, ooh, that it's is It's not nice. bad. She's it's, nice. I need another sip. I like her. It's mostly like warm water, but like. <laughs> <laughs> it is, that's why I like it. I'm like, it's very <laughs> faint. Just, it's like warm water with like a little flavor. Yes, literally. <laughs> but I like it. It's I do, good. yeah. I feel like I could drink this whole thing and get like this much caffeine. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is Gur Iced Pep Mock. Peppermint mocha. Oh. And she's ice. Grande iced and they put mocha. flakes yeah, on top. Flakes on Come her. on. The presentation. Yeah, I like to get all the elements. So. But looking chintzy on the whipped cream, usually they overflow it. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna start at the top and go down. Yes. Mmm, I taste the peppermint. Mm -hmm. I taste the crunchies. Mm -hmm. The actual beverage is not my cup of tea or cup of mocha, as you'd say. But I like the peppermint flavor. I'm kind of only tasting peppermint and like water. I think they went watery on us today. I guess. What do you think? Mm. You like her? It tastes like a Bath and Body Works hand soap or candle. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the vibes. Like I don't know if I want that in my mouth. This one is uh, chestnut praline. Yes! Oh my god, you're right. I'm starting to know how to talk. Are you a barista? I'm such a barista. Okay, hold on. We'll start at the top. 
I got a chunk of something. Woo! Oh my god, I got a real big chunk of something. She gave me my own straw because I don't want to get you sick. Not that I'm sick, but Corey's just sick. in case, because you have to see those babies. That's true. Nothing? <laughs> I don't know. It yeah, tastes like old cereal milk. That's exactly what it tastes like. That tastes like old cereal milk from like um, Golden Grahams. Yes. Golden Graham cereal milk for sure. And I'm not mad about it, but I would never order it. Same. This one's car brule brulee. Yes. Like a creme brulee, but a caramel. Creme, yeah, it's creme brulee. Do you say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. I say caramel too. But I love when people say caramel. It's like it sounds fancy. fancy. But like, okay. Tell me in the comments below if you say if you pronounce it caramel, do you say caramel apple? It's a caramel apple. Caramel apple. Do people say caramel apple? I'm afraid they do. Um, no, you know who says it and says it with an accent? Giada de Lorente. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be like, today guys, I'm so excited. We're having a traditional Italian meal, so we're making spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why do you say it like that? Yeah, she'll She's put like, an Italian accent on it, even though it doesn't get it. We're having a... Uh, Hamburgers. <laughs> Wait, why did I say it French? <laughs> we're having a delicious fall treat. It's a caramel apple. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I think she's so adorable, but she does do it. She's really oh, she's beautiful. Yeah. All right, so we're making this really great salad. You just have to grate some parmesan mm. on top. Like she does it with everything. Parmesan. <laughs> it's so funny. So anyway, this is a caramel brulee. Okay. Hmm. Candly. Oh no. It tastes like candle. Like it's like a a pumpkin candle. It doesn't taste Christmassy to me. But it doesn't taste like I should be drinking it. Oh. It tastes like I should be smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It yes. does not taste right. I think they're getting a little adventurous with the flavors. I know. So I'm I like, think, how is that from Boule? Corey, I think they're just melting candles. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just melting candles. That's what it's like. What's this one? Oh. Irish crumb crumb? <laughs> what is this one saying on it? Irish cream cold brew. Ugh, I'm gonna hate this one. I don't I never like the cold brew. It's always a tire. You like the cold brew. I do. I never like the cold brew. I love a good I time. love cold brew, but not this kind of, I don't like when they put stuff in it. I like a good tire. She's the tiriest of tires. <laughs> that tastes like a straight up tire to me. That is not good. Oh, the aftertaste. Mm -mm. That is automobile vibes. That is oil. You need an oil change and they put the old oil in there. That's gross. This is my winter chicken dinner. Oh, you know what? This time I don't like it. This time it tastes like skin. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't taste any seed notes. To me, they're all kind of a bust. This is cute. Come on. That's really cute. That's very, Maybe very, very give cute. It hey, oh, you gotta see the sprinkle oh. the diarrhea on the bottom. It's his little cute. poops. His little poops. His Can sparkly you see it? poops. Okay. Mm. 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 It's intense. What is it? It's chocolate and peppermint. It's just really intense. Mm. I like it. I never had I would, it salted. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I would never like buy it. Like if someone made this, I'd be like, what's your recipe with no intention of ever making it, but just to make them feel good? Do you know what I mean? Okay, this one I know I'm going to despise. Cranberry Bliss Bar. It's like dry, dense bread with maybe a cream cheese topping and like craisins. You know what's the worst too? When they serve it to you, it comes like in a big loaf and they like break off a chunk and they put it in the bag. Ew. Enjoy. Hmm. Mm. That's awful. Uh oh. I like a cream cheese frosting. So like I kind of like the tanginess of the cream cheese frosting. I'm not a fruit in my dessert kind of gal usually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like that at all. And I'm not a frosting person, so. I'm not either. People think I'm crazy. I prefer more cake to the frosting. Yes, and that's a lot of frosting. Yeah, it is. I think I want to save this for Flynn. Should what? we give him this one or the cookie? I'll say I'll give him this. So yeah, we can try this. Okay. Try I'll, this poops. I'll try his sparkly poop. Moist, dry. Um, it's good. It's just, sugar cookies are pretty boring. Mm. You can't really go wrong with the sugar mm. cookie, you know. I like it. I must say, I'm very disappointed in this season. I am too. But we got cute cups. Look at it. Come on now. I will be using these for realsies. They just gave these to you for no reason. Well, I'm gay. And you get things when you're gay. Yes, it's like you're famous when you're gay. There's your Starbucks holiday haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And these were all not good. I didn't like him either. Okay, bye. My toy came. Your toy came? Yes. Oh, that's so exciting. I was waiting and then it came. That's amazing news. Let's look at it in the package. Wow, it's amazing. Um, that toy he has had for probably a year. It's driving! It's driving? 
Is this the toy that came in a package? Yeah, but I was pretending. You're pretending? And then it was in the package and then it came. And I was waiting <gasps> and then it came. It came and <gasps> your bus came. It came with a bus? Yeah, let's get it. My bus came to Hola, everybody. So, we decided to go visit the babies tonight. Um, we usually go for like a big chunk of the day, but we go once because we have a kid at home. So, we usually go for a big chunk of the day, and then the rest of the day we're with Flynn, but today we just missed them tonight after Flynn went to bed. So, when Flynn went to bed, we went back to the NICU. And now it's 10.30 at night, um, we just got back and my sweet Maisie. I held her and she was like, they were like, she's not interested in the bottle. She's not interested in the bottle. We can't get her to be interested in the bottle. She's done it a couple times, but like not really. So I was like, Maisie, I know you girl. I know what you want. And so I held her and she was like sucking her binky and looking at me like, what the heck mama? Like I'm hungry and I can smell you. And so I was like, let's try. And I pulled out my boobies and she was like, and she ate and she latched. But I'm not for long. Like she didn't like eat, eat. She was using she was getting her food through her feeding tube. But she latched on and she like sucked for a while. And I was like so proud of her. So that was really good. I'm really glad that we went. So anyway, we are just going to be working on Thanksgiving tomorrow, cooking and prepping for some family to come over. I'm really excited about that. The childhood cancer fundraiser is still tentatively December 4th. And today I realized we we're thinking of like prizes to give away because we always like to give away like memorabilia and like cool prizes, and we were talking about what would be cool prizes and I was thinking I think I want to give away the tortilla the iconic tortilla where tortilla talks I think I want to give it away at the live stream so if anyone wants my dirty old blanket you can win it <laughs> For anyone who's new to my live streams and my fundraisers, how it works is there's a link below. You can donate. You can start donating now. If you donate, you are entered to win, but like it's not like it's a contest or whatever. The reward is you're donating and helping people, children with cancer. But if you donate, I randomly pick people who have donated and go like, oh, so-and-so donated, so I'm gonna give you a gift card to this place. So-and-so donated, I'm giving you this, and I send them to you. So not everyone who donates gets a prize. It's just kind of at random, and if you donate, now still you're entered to win things. I pick people who are donating now. I pick people who donate in the moment of the live stream. I pick people who can't donate and they're just spreading the word and like posting about it on their socials. That's how it works. I wanted to read this one comment that blew my mind on my video yesterday. This is from Angelique Sabrina. She said, Colleen's saying Maisie is behind on bottle feeding, which I shouldn't use those terms. She's not behind, she's on her own timing. So like Wesley is interested in bottles and he's had a few bottle feeds. Maisie's not interested. It doesn't mean she's behind or she's not doing a good job. She's doing a great job. She's not behind. She just has different timing. So that was like bad term terminology on my part. But anyway, Colleen saying Maisie is behind on bottle feeding immediately reminded me of the psychic saying she was going to be behind in milestones but that she's strong so there's no need to worry about her and I am shook it because I kind of forgot everything Terry said to me when I had that reading done so now I'm like I know I usually wait to watch it for when the babies are older like in a year from now I'll watch it but like I'm like did she say that because I don't even remember her saying that did she no I need to kind of go and see because that'd be crazy I'm gonna vomit <laughs> I shouldn't do this until like a year from now, but like she so she said there's like a slip inside, like something slips right out and his umbilical cord did. So I mean, that could mean anything, but she said that she sees them holding hands. She said they're gonna come two minutes apart, which they did. Literally, they came two minutes apart and she predicted that. And I was like, yeah, right. And she was like two minutes after him, like she's gonna come. And that's literally what happened. They're exactly two minutes apart. This is spooky. She said, I, they're gonna come out right after each other. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out holding hands. And like, you guys know my 
favorite picture of me and my twins is them holding freaking hands the first time they were put next to each other together on my chest. Like I held them both, but they were far apart. The first time they were close to each other, they held hands immediately. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna continue watching. Okay, so she didn't necessarily say like she was gonna be behind, behind. She said specifically about talking, like that she would be behind on talking. And then she said, if there's other markers, like don't worry. She did kind of say that, but not really. So we'll see, but there's a lot of stuff in here that's very interesting and how oh, my incision really hurts tonight <laughs> how long does it take to not hurt is the question all right i'm gonna go eric said that he found a good documentary for us to watch tonight so we're gonna watch a documentary and tomorrow is prep for holiday family time so sounds fun to me i love you guys very much and i'll see you tomorrow if i vlog we'll see goodbye